Hey everybody, welcome back to another haul video here on the channel. Today we're going to go over all the books I got in January and a little bit of this month, February. Obviously it's uh, still too early, but you'll see more hauls in the future, so don't worry about it. Let's keep going. We begin our journey with Seven Seas Entertainment, and the first manga here is Kemono Jihen Volume 9. Looking really cool, can't wait to dig in. I think I'm three or four volumes behind with my reading, but still this is a fun, yokai-inspired battle shonen series that I really enjoy. Next up is A Cat from Our World and the Forgotten Witch Volume 1. When I did my anticipated January releases, I had to include it on there. This is a really fun book. I will talk a little bit more about it on my next video, which I am recording as of me making this one. It's another reading vlog, so look forward to that. But yeah, love the art and the story for this one. The 100 Girlfriends Who Really, 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 Really Love You, Volume 4, actually Volume 5 and 6, 7, let's throw Volume 8 in there. So I almost have here a complete set. I'm missing the first three volumes. I really enjoyed, which is ironic me saying really, but I really enjoyed the anime adaptation. It was a lot of fun, super funny, uh, really clever with its jokes and humor and the etchy raunchiness didn't bother me too much. And the uh, self-awareness of it all really uh, made me like the story. And I thought, okay, I, I want to read the manga. So as soon as I finished watching the anime, I picked up where the story left off, which would be volume four here. So now I'm going to go back and uh, get the first three volumes for the next hauls that I get. One book from Tokyo Pop, and it is volume five of Sengoku Yoko. I'm currently watching the anime adaptation while I read these volumes as they come out. So it's pretty interesting to uh, see that stuff in the anime and then come back and read a new volume and check it out. So yeah, really excited about this. Satoshi Mizukami, one of my favorite uh, bangaka, and this one looks really awesome too. From Yen Press, got my hands on Handyman Saito in Another World, Volume 3. I first learned of this series through the anime adaptation, and then I went ahead and read the manga. This is the volume that sealed the deal for me on how fantastic this series is. Such high stakes in this particular volume. A lot of shocking twists that I'm not going to reveal just in case you haven't read it, but the outcome of an event with the demon dog is phenomenal. And that made me a fan of this one uh, forever. Another Yen Press book, we got Bochi the Rock Volume 2. The Four Coma Sensation is back with Volume 2, and this looks really funny. I can't wait to dig in. If you haven't checked out Bochi, I do recommend checking out the anime. And if you want to grab the source material, well, here you go with these Yen Press releases. My one webtoon purchase goes to Siu's Tower of God. I really enjoyed the anime adaptation of this back in 2020. It was one of my favorite shows from that year. And this is, of course, the original. But what's cool about it is that I got it on sale for $8 from the Bezos website. That's pretty awesome. I'm not the biggest fan of the art when this series starts, but I do know that it improves significantly. I'm looking forward to reading all of that because I've only seen the show so I've only consumed 13 episodes or I think it was 12 episodes worth of information so I don't know what happens after that but I'm looking forward to reading more from this media we got a bunch of stuff let's start here with dark gathering volume 2 i watched the anime of this which ran for i think it was 24 or 25 episodes adapting a huge chunk of the manga so you could say i'm up to date with the story however the art continues to impress i love the character designs and the atmosphere and vibes in this book are awesome if you want a good spooky a horrific and sometimes grotesque looking manga from Shonen Jump. Here you have it with Dark Gathering. Pokemon Adventures, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, Volume 1. Really happy about this. I love to see more Pokemon Adventures manga volumes to come out. I'm pretty sure that after we're done with this, with uh, two more books, we will get that announcement for Sun and Moon. But this looks really awesome. I have fond memories of 10 years ago, if you can believe it, when these remakes came out for Gen 3. That was so much fun. 
and looking at the drawings here, it brings back those memories of those games. So I can't wait to dig in and read this book. Record of Ragnarok Volume 9. I always mention it, but just in case, I like to binge read this series because you can pretty much knock out a book in like 30 minutes because most of these volumes are just the fights drawn out throughout the length of a, a Tonkoban here. And with Record of Ragnarok, unfortunately, Viz has a very slow release schedule for it. So I'm not in any rush to read this. So yeah, this is Volume 9. I don't know if I should be looking at this stuff here, probably spoiling something. Something. I do apologize, but it looks really good. I love the art for this series. This one is probably one of my most anticipated releases from January. It is Steel of the Celestial Shadows. I love the amazing artwork with a very distinct character design. And of course, the story involves this person with a curse who can't come in contact with steel, but is a samurai. So a lot of interesting topics here to discuss and do not worry because I do have a video coming up where I will talk about Steel of the Celestial Shadows along with some other cool releases. Last haul video, I showed you ZOM 100 Volume 11 and mentioned that I had an issue with Volume 10, but here it is. I have Volume 10 and 12 here of the zombie comedy series. So I am officially up to date with ZOM 100 and I'm looking forward to Volume 13 and catching up with everybody else. But yeah, love the art on this and I like the fresh twist here with the comedy aspect and the zombies. From Taiyo Matsumoto, Tokyo These Days, a meta book about a manga creator who is retiring, but he's pulled back in for one final job with some assistance. And it's sort of this slice of life story drama looking fantastic as only a master of the craft as Taiyo Matsumoto could handle it. So this is a phenomenal release. I love the textured feel here for this book from Viz. So great job on this signature edition. I really enjoy uh, this volume one here. The final manga that we're going to talk about on this video is Cat Eyed Boy Volume 2 Hardcover Edition from Kazuo Umez. I am not necessarily the biggest Umez fan, but I am a fan of yokai in anime and manga, so I had to have this on my collection. I love the Cat Eyed Boy series. It's so much fun. Quirky, spooky, and just fantastically written and drawn. Really recommend checking this out if you are in the spooky creature horror and super natural stuff and of course yokai again you'll be right at home with this kudos to viz for putting this series together again uh, reprinting it in this awesome hardcover two pack if you will so yeah volume two here looking really nice for the anime side of things, I got three pickups that I want to highlight. The first one goes to Discotech Media for their release of Urusei Yatsura. This is the third of the box sets containing episodes 107 all the way to 149. Whew, okay, this is a handful. I love Urusei Yatsura, but this is a real labor of love trying to collect this series because uh, this is a lengthy show. There are so many episodes, not to mention that I don't own the movies, so I have to track those down eventually. We have the upcoming OVA collection that got solicited recently from Discotech, and I do plan on getting the manga at some point. I just need to make room for it. Not to mention that there's also the 2022 reboot anime, which is getting the Sentai Filmworks Blu-ray release. Oh boy. <laughs> but again, labor of love. I, I really enjoy Urusei Yatsura. It is my favorite of Rumiko Takahashi's work. Uh, it's so much fun with great characters and a great sense of humor. So happy to have this particular set and uh, volume four or box set four just came out as of me making this video here. So expect to see it in the next haul video because I'm probably going to pick it up relatively soon to this recording. The next release that I got is Eureka 7 High Evolution, the third and final movie of the trilogy. Eureka 7, if you don't know, is my all-time favorite anime. I genuinely love that series for a whole bunch of reasons. If I started talking about it, it would take up a whole video, probably 30 minutes of me ranting about how great it is. But I'll just keep it brief. This trilogy, the first movie, it was alright. As a fan, I enjoyed it, but I can't honestly recommend it. I'd rather 
you watch the show instead. Movie 2 and Movie 3 really do spice things up by presenting an alternate take, alternate timeline for the original. However, I still recommend you watch the original because everything after is subjective. Some people hate it, other people like it. I happen to enjoy all of it, but I do recognize that some of these aren't as good as others. Uh, for example, the Odeka 7 TV sequel is not as beloved as the original, etc, etc. But this movie is fun, it's good, I liked it. It's a new twist on my favorite anime, so I'm always happy to see that. I love alternate takes on things, so I don't mind. So if you're a fan of Odeka 7, do pick these up if you can. Finally, one DVD. We continue my journey of getting all of Tenchi Muyo that is available officially on DVD, Blu-ray, whatever it may be. And here we have Tenchi Muyo GXP. I had, actually, this is a funny story. I, we're gonna travel back real quick to the year 2006, I think, or 2005. I was fresh out of high school. I was in college for the first time, and it was the first time that I had gotten chicken pox. And I was sick from it because I had a fever or something. And a friend of mine at the time lent me his copies of Tenshi Muyo GXP. I hadn't watched it yet, so I was sick at home watching it covered in blisters, uh, so that was fun. And I decided to watch it and really enjoyed it. It was a wacky mix of Tenchi Muyo with etchy humor, blah, blah, blah. So back then, I used to rip DVD-R copies of what I watched for my personal collection, so technically I did own it. Yes, it was a copy, but it was a legitimately made copy for myself. I wasn't gonna sell it or anything, but when you popped in the disc, it played exactly the same. Fast forward until now, and I realized last year that I lost those copies. I don't know where they are. I looked and looked, I cannot find them. So instead I found that GXP was easily obtainable online. The original complete series box set is really pricey and out of print from Funimation, but you can still grab the individual volumes for cheap, or you can grab the uh, chipboard box set with like four of the DVDs inside, or the third option here is either the save version with the ugly green banner that nobody likes or this version here which you're looking at this is the viridian set of course because it's made with recyclable material unfortunately that makes it super flimsy and all the offers i saw online were for people selling it in really banged up shape like this one right here but i just wanted it it only cost me like 11 bucks so i was happy to grab it and and officially own it <laughs> So there you go. That is the haul for the month of February. Obviously, the month is not over as of posting it. There's a bunch of stuff coming out. So do expect a video later on with all the crazy purchases that I plan on making. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I do appreciate it. Let me know in the comment section if you want me to review any of the specific products highlighted here. That's going to be it for now. God bless. Stay safe out there. I will catch all of you on our next video. Thank you.